Hello, Alexia, and any of my classmates that may be watching. Uh, my name is Robert Smith. I am an AOC one term twelve or thirteen zero five, and this is an extra credit assignment that I'm doing. And what I'm going to be doing uh, for this is uh, reviewing an application that you can find on the App Store for Mac, and the application is called Briefs. Uh, what Briefs is is a uh, it's a prototype slash mock-up tool um, that you can use to build uh, really um, visual uh, mock-ups for iPhone, iPhone 5, and iPad. And uh, this is their website that I recommend you visit if you're interested, but I'm going to show you. Um, this is the interface when you first um, open the application for the first time. Uh, you're going to be greeted with this welcome brief and uh, what this does is it's pretty much a uh, tutorial on how to use the app because the app is very complex but um, uh, when you first open it you're going to get this and um, so what this is called what this is what this view is called is a uh, scene view and any screen uh, in your timeline which is what this bar over here is um, any screen in your timeline is referred to as a scene in the application and then your timeline is located over here which is basically going to be all of your scenes and anything that uh, your buttons, toolbars, anything that you put inside of your scenes are referred to as actors and you can find uh, pre-established actors in this library button up in the top right hand corner and you can choose from either uh, what they call iPhone, iOS styles. Uh, they also have this for iPad, but then you can also choose um, Blueprint style. And then you can um, upload your own uh, images and stuff and store them in your user library. Mine's currently empty. Um, but um, these three buttons up here, uh, this one up here will give you a overview kind of like a flowchart almost of um, your entire application and this button to the right gives you more of a precision view and gives you all of the you can click on the individual elements in the application and it will give you the exact sizes uh, for retina and the uh, non-retina versions and uh, stuff like that and uh, one of the cooler things about the application if I just uh, switch over. Oh, sorry, if I just switch over to um, this untitled brief. This is just uh, the first brief I ever opened. But say you drag another button over into the brief, and if I had another scene set up, what I can do is right-click on the button, add action, and then I would drag this over to my. Um, other scene, the scene 2, scene 3, it doesn't matter which scene, I would click and then this button would send you to that scene and it's that easy to make your mock-up interactive and give you an idea of what the application is going to feel like after you put the code into it, which is I think the whole point of the app of, of briefs. And uh, just playing with it the past few days I think it's really cool. Um, I can really see myself using it. Uh, it does has its downside. It does have its downsides. The main one being, I will show it in the App Store, is $200. Uh, I'm using the free trial that you can find on the uh, on their website. It offers you uh, one timeline with up to 10 scenes. Um, but once you exceed that, uh, it'll cut you off completely. Uh, but I definitely recommend at least trying it out. Um, I'm not sure uh, this application was released uh, at the beginning of this month, May 1st, is when it was first released on the App Store. And the last update was May 15th. And from what I've been reading in some reviews inside the App Store and app outside the App Store, is that uh, it's pretty buggy. But I mean, that should be expected with an application this large that just got released. But there's also a lot of feedback saying that they're banging out the bugs at a very rapid pace. So um, maybe before you decide to uh, drop this much money on the application, wait until they get 
more of the bugs worked out, but uh, this I, I really think that this ties into especially uh, this class, um, and uh, I can definitely see myself um, using this to get an idea. Once you have an idea of an application in your head, you can really put it on, uh, put it into a brief, and see if um, see if it'll actually work. See if the usability will actually be what you need it to be, and such like that. And then it's also worth worth mentioning uh, that I'll have to go back to my welcome brief for this. But um, once you're done with your brief and you have your whole timeline, it's very easy to share the brief, the entire timeline via email, message, or AirDrop. And it also has uh, this also has two features. One uh, being a feature called Briefs Live, uh, which has the ability to wirelessly um, show your brief on your um, iPad or iPhone um, it'll show your scene and then it also has a client on the iPad and iPhone app store called briefs case which basically uh, if you email your timeline or brief to a uh, client or whatever and they have the application on their iPhone or iPad they can open it in that briefcase application and see um, see the application exactly how it's meant to be seen. Um, but uh, yeah, I really recommend uh, that anybody that looks like this may be interesting to check this out. This is uh, the App Store, but then you can also go to their website to uh, get the free trial and watch some of the videos and read more up about it. But um, okay, that's about it. And um, no more Hangouts or anything for AOC 1, so I'm heading into AOC 2 next, so anybody heading into AOC 2, I'll see you guys there. And um, thanks for the great times. Okay, bye-bye.